What's going down, everybody? It's your boy. That got my hot tuna back in for episode 49, season four. Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Gang, gang, gang. We got the homie Ashley, otherwise known as Coco Ganja Puffs. Make sure you're following her on IG. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here this you're morning. Welcome. You're welcome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's no longer Friday, Junior. It's officially Friday. Yep. Got my dog, Eric. Yes, sir. Per the huge. Yes, How you sir. How you doing this morning, man? I'm good. I'm feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? I got some rest last night. Trying to Harlem shake. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you feeling, man? I'm good, bro. Yes, sir. How you know? Right wake up trying to put my best foot forward every day. Try to. Yep. Yeah. That's all you, know you can. That's right. Just, That's trying right. to be the best version of me today. There you go. That I can be. Love it. So, yeah, you know, I'm good. It's the weekend. I like the weekends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't like the weekends. Exactly. You can't be mad on a Friday. If you're mad on a Friday, you're just, just doing <laughs> it wrong. wrong with you. <laughs> doing it wrong. Yeah, something wrong with you. <laughs> Anyways, babe, we uh, are, are at the end of season four. We have Monday. It was the last episode of season four. So mm. It'll be 50 on Monday. That's what, 200 episodes? That's 200 episodes, bro. Ooh, that's nice. 200 episodes, Yes, man. sir. So, but like I said, we are, I, we got to figure out, we got to, we got to, after this show, guys, we got to figure out what we're going to do for, for episode 50. Yeah, yeah. I, say, I think it's a celebration. Coco <laughs> says she's going to be here the whole show. Hell yeah. yeah That's fine. Right. Right. We got to make That's sure Devontae show up. We got to right. make sure he don't hear her. You know. He got to be here. Got to be here. <laughs> uh, and maybe, I don't know, we invite some other people. I don't know. You just never know. Maybe it'll be a goddamn party. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it'll be definitely a cool little like end of uh, season four and beginning. or end of, end of, Yeah, end of season four mm-hmm. and start of a new era because we're going to do some whole different stuff with season five we're really planning out some new segments and some new things and everybody gonna be more involved in, in doing they they thing and bringing their real flavor to the table that's right help. so and it's gonna give us like a nice little uh, into 2022 <laughs> yeah a little push we got to it's a must that's right Hell so yeah. but anyway y'all i know why you're here and i'm ready to spark the bleed so uh that joke time <laughs> Are you ready, sir? You, yeah, talk to me. Are you sure? Talk to me. Guess what happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? Frogs have cars? Sometimes. <laughs> Does it get towed? <laughs> it's towed away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the difference between my dad and a hooker? Your dad didn't come back. A hooker always comes back. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got you. I understand. I understand where you're going with that one. <laughs> Two monkeys are sharing an Amazon account. Guess what they are called? Uh, primates. Primates. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, what did one lesbian vampire say to the other lesbian vampire? <laughs> let's make love. I don't know. Same time next month? <laughs> I was about to say, see? let's see you in 21 days. Some shit like that. <laughs> I, was, I mean, we was all in the same vicinity. You know what I'm saying? You get it. <laughs> oh, man. The Toast was having a sleepover. Guess what he was wearing? What? His what? favorite. Pajamas. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's bad, What's brown and uh, bad for your dental health? A brick. A baseball bat. Same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what's the best, me- or uh, guess what, or what's the best method of transportation self-driving cars use on their day off? What? What? Human drivers. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> peace out. Right, peace out. Shout out to Coco. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her. All her accounts, main ones, back uh, backup ones, all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, shout out to you. Have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. Uh, wait, wait, you, you, yep, okay. you. Let's see. Uh, what's the only time you can do almost whatever you want? Almost all the time. When you have the gun in your hand. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that just was get that down, was, lay down. That was deep. <laughs> that was deep. That was game. <laughs> Do you know how to accurately guess what you're having for dinner? How? Cook it yourself. <laughs> when so you cook obvious. it yourself, you definitely you know what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know how how to make a Smurf? How to make a Smurf? Mm-hmm. No. Choke a little person. It's violent. It's real violent, sir. <laughs> Who should you never lie to? Yourself. No, an x-ray operator because they can see right through you. Good. Yep. Okay. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what volcanoes do when they have feelings? Uh, I don't know. They lava each other a long time. 
<laughs> what do you call, what is it called when car uh, or what do you call a cow fart? A cow fart? Dairy air. <laughs> That's fucking funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> good word, word good wordplay. <laughs> what do you what do you call it when you fart in nature? What? Natural gas. <laughs> <laughs> All the fart jokes are gonna get me every time, bro. <laughs> why, why don't vegans moan during sex? <laughs> why? They don't want anyone to know that they're enjoying the meat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's, that's good funny. Yeah, that's good uh, what did the cow say to the angry farmer? I have no idea. Please calm down, or there's gonna be some beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's all I got today. Yeah, that was, good. Got. That was good. Got. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, ah, it's Friday. Smoking some weed. This mm -hmm. is some. Uh, what is this? Some E85. From uh, Grand For uh, yeah, Grand Floria. Okay. Pretty sure this was uh, gotten from the uh, lemonade store. Pretty sure this is like a uh, Veritas situation. Yep. How is it? Is it decent? It's all right. It's, all right, you know, yeah. it's one of the better Get ones I've had from, from Veritas. So there, we go. Go. there you go. But uh, yeah, you know, it's all right. You know. I wouldn't go buy it personally. <laughs> but if it's gifted I'm, I'm real picky yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Coco You know what I'm saying She'd be, she be putting your boy on game With some of these yeah, strains yeah. I'd be like I ain't buying it She's like I'll just give you a blunt When I see you yeah. Like alright man yeah, I'll take it <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you uh, But uh, yeah So prosecutors man They are seeking For a DNA uh, test Or a DNA test For uh, a possible match In a murder case evidence Or for possible murder case evidence um, mm -hmm. Against YNW Melly Oh no shit, bro! He just going through it. Damn, bro! I thought so. He yeah, he hasn't even been sentenced yet. Or, yeah, I, sentenced. I man, like, I, I thought swear he was. he was like supposed to be getting out, and then it was like we just didn't hear nothing yeah, else about it. Stop. I remember hearing that shit too. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, I swear, I know, and I, I ain't mm -hmm. tripping. I swear there was like a time there was where a there bunch was, of people talking yeah, about it too. Like it was a like good was, week or two or something yeah. where it was like, hey, Melly gonna be getting out soon. That's right, Melly gonna be getting out soon. Where are you at? I don't know if Melly getting out soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think That's it's possible it. at this point. Um, but prosecutors in Melly's case, uh, in his double murder case, have asked the Broward uh, County judge for, uh, to force Melly to submit an oral swab to see if it's a match on a key piece of evidence. Oh, damn. Mm. Damn, they must, they, must have, they must have some hard evidence on it, man. Bruh. Yeah. So Melly and his friend, uh, Cortland Henry, are accused of killing their friends. Mm -hmm. Uh so, oh, so he's got a, he's got a co-defendant. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the two that they that they're accused of killing was uh, YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie, right? Um, in 2018, um, and then staging their deaths to look like a drive-by shooting. Uh -huh. So, according to TMZ, the evidence in the yellow jack or is a yellow jacket which matches the DNA of Anthony Williams, aka YNW Sack Chaser. Prosecutors say the jacket may uh, may contain three other DNA samples. Right. Uh, and they want to see if one of them matches YNW Melly's DNA. The judge is yet to rule on the oral swab filing. Mm -hmm. So he hasn't agreed to it yet, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a possibility, a real big possibility, that YNW will have to be forced into a uh, DNA Giving submission. DNA? Yeah. Mm. Uh, which is crazy they don't have it already. I know, right? The fact That's that he's what... already, like, he's been, like, this ain't his first rodeo. Nah, not at all. Either. Like, it's kind of weird that they don't have... They have to do real anyway. police work because no one's ratting. Apparently, you know, <laughs> they got to do what they got to do, though. Yeah. So, but, you know, shout out to Melly, man. I, I you know, you never want to see uh, a young black man, you know, getting fucking put down and just thrown <laughs> under the jail and shit. But, you know, again, if he did do what he, you know, is being accused of doing, you know, he's got all the uh, got to deal with it. Consequences That's coming right. to him. So, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm. You know, I speak more from a fan perspective. There you I go. Really fucks with Melly's music. So. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But again, if you did what you did, or they're accusing you of saying you did, like, well, I guess you got to face the <laughs> motherfucking roses. Uh, you got to go smell the roses and sleep on some concrete you floors. Got to go up the road. Nigga. Just, just this is what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, moving on, you mm -hmm. know, just wanted to update y'all on the Melly thing because we talked about it before. Alec Baldwin. He, uh, man, he had a very unfortunate situation on the set of, uh, the TV show, uh, or I think it's actually a movie set called the rust. Okay. Um, he actually, somebody, I, we don't want to say somebody, but we're going to say there was a incident where there was a prop gun and uh -oh. 
there was a live round in it. Oh, bro. Um, almost verbatim to the whole situation with it seems like with like uh, Brandon Lee. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce Lee's, Lee's son, son, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. With the prop gun. That's that right. Bullet, the, the, you know, the blank was switched with a real bullet. Damn. Damn. This when sounds like a setup. Prop situation, you know. Yeah. That scene came. Mm-hmm. The person, bang, and it really went bang. God damn, bro. You know? And this is a very similar situation. So uh, he ended up accidentally shooting um, the photography manager. Or oh, production the DP? Lady. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, she, yeah, yeah. The director of photography. Yep. And she passed away. Damn, her injuries. Bro. She did sur- succumb to her injuries, which is very unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, condolences to her, her family, you know, her oh, loved ones, her friends. Yeah, wherever that's that prop gun came from, someone terrible. got to deal with this. But yeah, so, and that's why they haven't had uh, Santa Fe County Sheriff's has it, because this show's being shot out in uh, New Mexico. Okay. So the Santa Fe County Sheriff's has not arrested Baldwin or brought any charges against him or mm-hmm. anything just yet because they have to do their due diligence at that's this right. point because that's crazy. Like this doesn't, it shouldn't happen. It happens a lot more than you think. Actually, Absolutely. There's, there's a far more injuries and, you know, deaths, unfortunately on movie sets and TV sets than there probably should be. Facts. Um, and there's even a weird thing that there's even like a lot of, not a lot, but a, a few <laughs> like <laughs> prop gun issues, happens. like where it's like, yo, like, should the fuck I, be? Alec Baldwin be responsible for that? I mean, if he switched the bullet. If he did, yeah, for sure. If he switched the bullet, then yes. But if if he's just acting and he was and someone just handed him the gun or something, yeah, which that's like, the case, yeah, and that's why they haven't arrested him. So they got to figure out where the bullet came from. That's right. Who why who was there a live bullet room. in there? Yeah, that's what they got to figure out. Facts. So yeah, man, very unfortunate situation. Uh, we'll keep you updated as more information comes out about that shit. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Mm-hmm. It's fucking traumatizing. Super traumatizing. Uh, speaking of, you know, again, just I guess staying along the lines of updates, mm-hmm. we got Shoddy. Who is now reportedly uh, looking for a public defender, or, <laughs> or to get the uh, what do they call it the the CJA um, to be able to pay for oh his, yeah, yeah, yeah his yeah, lawyer yeah, because yeah. he's claiming broke. That's right, not necessarily fully broke, but broke. The one that six nine put in jail, shot yeah, shot okay, okay. Yeah, He's claiming that he's only got twelve hundred dollars to his name mm. and cash uh, assets, you know, fucking bank accounts, all that. Probably on paper, that that might be bucks. true. I mean, they, he's in prison. He hasn't been able to make money in over a year, mm-hmm. um, or for sure at least a year. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, he's, he's been paying very high-profile <laughs> lawyers oh, yeah. and everything else. So I, I can highly believe that he's probably broke. The money they went seized dry. a lot of shit with, with that Rico t- or that sure. racketeering case. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the, to think that he's broke, I mm-hmm. think is a, a, a very it's likely surprising. scenario. Yeah, for you sure. Know? Like, I, I don't think it's a longevity thing. I think, you know... Let's shoddy sell his story and, you know, start talking a little bit more and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he'll get some fucking book deals and advancements and maybe some movie opportunities and shit. Yeah, you know, hell yeah. Something, let's be, let's be fucking rise. real. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. But again. Where his homies at, though? I mean, they all in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He locks a few people up. Yeah. I'm like, right. what are you talking about? They, they, they all locked right. up right now. You know what I'm saying? And the ones that ain't, they, they got fucking eyeballs still watching them and shit. So they... Stay on a low. best behavior. Hell yeah. Best <laughs> behavior. Uh, but yeah, so he's he's looking to uh, get that, you know, a new lawyer. Because mm-hmm. he don't want to sit that whole 15. So he's trying to, you know, do the appeals and trying to, you know, he wants to try to get the fuck out Hell early yeah, at 15. Uh, and the only way to do that is to have someone who understands the, the legal mumbo jumbo mm-hmm. fucking, you know. And that shit costs a lot of money. Facts. Bruh, you know that, that retainer is no joke. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, but uh, yeah, moving on. We'll let y'all know if he have, you know obtains it. It hasn't been you know confirmed or denied that he's got the lawyer yet, but you know he is asking for the help because he needs it. So he's searching. He's he's looking. There you go. Uh, and your rappers out there that want to help him. Anyone want to take you know a pro con- bono case? You know how to contact him. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pooh Shiesty. Uh, oh, another man. update. He's locked up too, isn't he? Bruh, <laughs> bruh, bruh. <laughs> But he's reportedly expected to change his plea from not guilty to guilty. Him and his co-defendant in really? the hotel shooting case. Uh, apparently, some more evidence came out that it seems to be stacked against them because his lawyer came out and was like, "Yeah, we've entered into a plea negotiation because we have. Uh, there have been developments in the case that I think changed the dynamics of the case." Oh uh, shit! He's so, got he's got to do his homework some more. This motherfucker yeah. need to just <laughs> guilty on that one, motherfuckers. Yeah. We ain't gonna win that one. Guilty, nigga. You take guilty on that one and we'll fight this one. Yeah. Like, that's what it seemed Hell like. Yeah. Yo, bro, you pick your fights, nigga. Pick your battles. You did this. Pick your battles. <laughs> this one you did. They got you, nigga. 
the gun, <laughs> oh, the motherfucking shit. cameras. You motherfucking, you know, poo shiesty in it. You yep. know what I'm saying? Up and down Back that bitch. real like, shiesty. They got you, nigga. <laughs> they got you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like. Because, yeah, to, for you to just, like, it seemed like they was about to say, or stay super solid. Like, nah, nigga, we, nah. No, yeah. Not guilty. Not guilty. I not didn't do guilty. none of this shit. Yeah. Not no more. Like, not no more. <laughs> guilty, your honor. Your honor. I, I did I that did one. It. That one, you right. My bad. You right. You know what? Let me own up to that one. So that we could, you know... Talk about this other one and maybe get some some leeway over there. Right, like that's what it seemed like. They trying to get the leeway in the important case. Mm-hmm, like this is the mm-hmm. one. He's like, you know what? I'll sit down for yeah, this. One. Take this charge. I, I could get out on this one. There you go. I got I got the time for that one. Thanks. I got the time for that one. <laughs> you right. You right. I got the time for that one. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, you want to know some weird shit? Hmm. Okay. This has to be Florida. What is wrong with Florida? <laughs> yeah, bro, I don't, I don't I know. I just want to know what is going on. What is in the water, Florida? It's, it's too hot. I don't know what it is. Something is wrong bro. out the water, there. Water, the food. I, would, I can never live in Florida. Yeah, I feel like people would just go. They lose their shit, bro. You'll see something new you, like, every single day. Setting up the next day. generations to be crazy. Yeah, nah. Sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what it is. You Floridians are nuts. <laughs> Y'all do some questionable shit. Anyways, man. So <laughs> we've got this story right now. And it's it's really going viral. It should be going viral just because of what is going what what happened. Uh-huh. But you know, it Kodak had a had a comment on it, so that's why it's really getting crazy headlines. Okay, and, and you know, going nuts. But anyways, this viral story about this sixty one year old Florida man marrying an eighteen year old. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it's her, his goddaughter. Yeah, so I saw this. Did what? You did what, bro? They did the side by side where he was holding her as a little girl, and then the wedding photo, bro. Bruh. That shit is it's fucking Bruh. weird. It's fucking weird, bro, <laughs> bro, bro. This is, we need to have a bro say, like, bro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the new mid pack, yeah, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. Dude, bro. Even, bro. It's weird shit, bro. That's just weird. So various social media users criticize Michael Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Hug a book. How do, that is oh, a well, hold on. <laughs> Hug a book. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that's it. A, that's H-A-U-G-A-B-O-O-K. A, that's it. That's some Florida. Hug a book. Shit, that's a Florida name. Hug a book. <laughs> Michael Bruh. Hug a book. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I feel like I said it right. Anyways, oh, so Michael, bruh, hook a book <laughs> for marrying Deja, who has known or who he's known since her infancy. Mm-mm. While many express outrage and accuse the man of grooming his goddaughter, which I agree, yeah, I can't I'll, lie, I think that's, that's exactly, exactly what, what happened. happened. Oh yeah, uh, d- <laughs> despite having a previous relationship with her mother. What? Oh, bro. This shit is crazy. Hold on. So hold on. Oh, you we gotta think done. about this. Hold on. Think about this, though. So, in order for you to be her goddaughter, that meant that you were either friends with the dad yep. or friends with the mom prior to this and knew the dad. Right. And, you know, that's you were trusted with the, the responsibility yep, of being to a the godparent. Parents, there you go. Right. You're going to take responsibility. You were, you were entrusted with that responsibility. Right. And then you went ahead and dated the mom. <laughs> he took full responsibility. <laughs> And be, I'd be daddy. <laughs> I'm going to just be daddy. And then he was like, you know what? The mom is outdated. Daddy doesn't suit me no more. That's fucking horrible. I'm going to date you. Oh, like, wait, God. that like, bro. I don't get it, bro. It doesn't matter. It's nasty. Did you see the videos at all? I didn't watch all of it. It was just, it's just nasty. She was it's weird, bro. The daughter was defending to the end, too. Oh, I mean, the statements, too. Yeah. Was she? Yeah. Yeah. She, in her little, you know, they're just hating. No, it's fucking weird, yeah, bro. Hating. It's fucking weird. It's like, no, that's <laughs> an 18 year old on. fucking taking advantage that's of nasty. fucking mindset. You, you've been R. Kelly. You, hey, brainwashed. You've been R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. We, we have a term. We have a term for that now. <laughs> you've been R. Kelly. You've been Kelly'd. <laughs> Kelly'd. You know what I'm saying? You have been Kelly'd. It's like being bamboozled, bitch. <laughs> that's what has happened. You are the bamboozled bitch of the fucking century right now. Fucking weird, bro. I it's weird, it. and I don't blame yeah. you because you're only 18. You don't know no better. And then catch you can't this, even think for yourself. And then she, and then she drops some bombs that, like, I don't think she necessarily understood the implications of like what this was implying. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So she said, uh, <sighs> since 18, or that she, or she pointed out that she's 18 and has worked a full time job while caring for her four children. Wait. Hold on. 
Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all think about that. Let that sink in. 18 years old and got four, four kids. kids. How many baby daddies? Where's the baby daddies? He is he the baby daddy? <laughs> <laughs> this story is fucking strange, bro. <laughs> Like, the shit just kept getting weird. I was like, what the fuck is going on? (laughs) I didn't hear all that. I heard that he just married her and that was it. I didn't know all these other factors that he dated the mom and all that shit. I didn't hear about all that. This shit got deep. Bro, I was reading this shit like, what the fuck? (laughs) Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, she 18 got four kids? I got more questions than I have answers. Like, So she been having kids since she was probably 13, 14 years old, maybe, bro. With this man, bro. Man, lock this guy up. He's got, he's got to. There, it has to be. Absolutely. Like, where's the baby's dad at? Yeah. He was real about mm-hmm. it. I mean, as, soon as, mm-hmm. as soon as you're legal. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are his kids, bro. For sure. Because if you're And the mom's 18, okay with this look, shit, takes, too, isn't look, she? It takes nine months to have a baby. Right. So that means even if you, like, let's say uh, in Florida, let's say that. I'm not sure what the legal age is, but let's say that's 17. Because mm-hmm. I know in like Georgia and some of those South states, it's like yeah, 16 so, and shit. Right. But let's just say 17, right? Split the difference. Because I know here in Colorado, in most states, it's 18. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there are some weird South, Southern states, which Florida's technically a Southern yeah. state. They so, condone this type of yeah, shit. Yeah, we're going to just split the difference, say 17. <laughs> that means that even at 17, you would have, by the time you're 18, you would have only been able, capable of having two babies. Right. Two. Yeah. And you would have just had that third, that second one. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fucking weird, bro. So, <laughs> this dude's a pig. Bitch, you got one pussy, one womb, <laughs> one. Like, did you have twins? Because that, no, it's not specified. Not adding so, up. the only way, like, did you have a fucking quadruplet and shit? <laughs> The fuck is going on here, bitch? Like, I'm fucking confused. So, I, like, why is he not? Why are people not trying to figure out this, like, the rest of this shit? Like, Facts, this like, is weird. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. He needs he should to be, be in jail, bro. In jail. Yeah. Like, we just had a story about the Mexican dude. Yeah, where they would, oh yeah, where she had was, the baby, he, right? Yeah, he was 21 or three or some shit like that. She was like 17 yeah. or 15 or but, something. Yeah, she was like 15. Yeah, young. it was young. Yeah. 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 And they were having a baby and they was all excited and blah, blah. And this approved, motherfucker got everything. arrested. Yeah, and that whole family knew. Yep. They all knew for real and was like, you know, that, oh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's part of the culture. You know, mm. we, we married her off. Well, not quite Shit's yet. But we, can't, we haven't quite married her off because <laughs> they weren't married, but we gave her away basically. Like, uh, it was cool with that shit. It, but like, you, you arrested that man. Mm-hmm. And that was like, some, like had they been in their home country, nobody would have batted the eye. Facts. Facts. No, there needs to be an investigation. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm just like, why Why are we, why, well, fuck what Kodak said. <laughs> I might even said it. Like, what, what, we'll what, talk yeah, about it. Gonna, but yeah. Fuck what Kodak <laughs> said, nigga. <laughs> fuck what she said. He's, well, actually, don't fuck what she said because she's giving us information that we need to look yeah, into. That, absolutely, bro. We she's doing the police work on Were you taking advantage of? Because yeah, it's what it's seeming like. Were you, Have were you, you been raised coached? as a child? Yeah. Because that's what it's seeming like. Absolutely. We need to get this man away from you mm-hmm. because you seem like you are being taken advantage of and, and, and everything else. Like this is, I, I have daughters. This shit is not okay. No, not at all. It's not okay. I got here. I, I have a goddaughter even like, and I, what the fuck? Like I look at her like I'm my own child and not like a that's fucking it. potential prospect for future fucking relations. Like that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's fucking weird. I don't get it. What did, I, Co- what did Kodak say? Oh my God. I got to hear this. So he said, <laughs> some wild shit. Shaking I, I, my head. <laughs> okay. My daddy did the same shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> left us at the, or left us to start a, another family with his goddaughter. I was about nine, but I ain't judging nobody though. To each his own. Mm. It could be true love. <laughs> I fucked that I'm judging The fact that he said that That's the, that's some Florida shit yeah, bro The fact this, that Kodak was like I'm gonna But I'll acknowledge That it might be true love though yeah. That's some Florida shit Nigga like Fuck no. out of here bro No it's not no. And his pops did the same shit bro. Florida's on some other shit bro I'm scared to go to Florida <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that Get robbed, yeah. get gazed, bro. Get, might come back a different saying? person. You never yeah. know. That changed your whole that. life. You Hell have a bad yeah. experience down there. Hell yeah. Anyways, yeah, man. Y'all, motherfucker. Something in the water. Y'all are. Y'all are something in the water. Something oh, in the water. Something Any in the listeners air. in Florida, please. Why? <laughs> why is Florida like this? Why? I'm gonna stop drinking Florida orange juice, bro. <laughs> I, just, I don't think that it's a good idea to drink Florida orange juice no more. That that 
You know what I'm yeah, saying? I don't feel safe, bro. Yeah. I, don't think that I, I might catch that Florida I want, shit. I don't want, I don't want it. from Florida. Mm-mm. I don't want nothing. I don't want no produce. Mm-mm. Grown from Florida. Mm-mm. I don't even want the sun rays in Florida, bro. Like, At this I don't, point, I don't think Florida's that. for me. Nah. I think y'all are fucking that. Keep the I nice weather. Rockers, bro. Yeah, it's thumbs up, I'm going to go to Cali. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick, I'm gonna stick <laughs> with the West Coast. <laughs> If I have to go hit that East Coast shit, I'm I'm, I'm going to like South Carolina. <laughs> I'll deal with the racism up there and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll go see the beaches up there and, oh, and deal with deal my with normal fuckers. shit. Yeah, <laughs> deal with shit that I'm I'm used to and accustomed to. Oh man, oh fuck all that, man. Y'all on some weird shit, yeah. bro. Like it'd be one thing. Like we 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 seen it. We we I'm sure we all have a a, a random cousin. You know, third cousin <laughs> that is dating like a fucking, you know, other fucking third cousin on right, the other side of right. your family and shit. But it was like some real genuine, like they didn't know each other. They met randomly and you figured this shit out at a family reunion. That's like, right. Like, what are you doing here? Why Who's y'all who? both here? Y'all, yeah. y'all together? Like, Wait, what hold do you mean up. you together? Nigga, you know y'all both my cousins, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit, like, that shit I think happens, happens way far more frequently than we realize. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And... Like shit like that, like okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, you, like a lot of us don't know all of you our families. Know. So, you know, some of our generations are fucked up. That's right. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, <laughs> I get it. But that's like this is not that though. No, this is grooming, this man bro. This raised her, mm-hmm. helped raise her at mm-hmm. least. That's fucking weird. It's fucking weird, bro. There's nothing. There's nothing like, like there's nothing to hate on about this. It's just, not at all. It's just not right. I think people are coming from a it's place wrong. of like real confusion of like. In 2021, this is what you're doing? Yeah, right. Like, nigga, we, like, 2021 is over, even. Like, <laughs> this is what you still doing fuck shit, nigga? Yeah. Like, I know you're 61, nigga, but this ain't the 60s and 70s and shit. This ain't, you ain't Elvis Presley, nigga. Bro, he's always been with younger chicks, I bet. Always. He just happened to marry this one. He was, yeah. I wonder if he married the, the mom, he, though, he, for real. I know, right? I kind of have a feeling that he did. Ugh. I just feel, I just have this feeling that he did. Yeah, how many times has this man been married? Shit. Let's find all that shit out. How do y'all feel about this <laughs> shit, man? How does it make you feel? Does it make you fucking, your, 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 your bones cringe and your, your, you know what I'm saying? Make your muscles tense up a little bit because you just want to knock this nigga's mm-hmm. fucking head off? Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I do. I know, I know it's just, I'm. It's fucking well, gross, bro. I'm, I would die, uh, bro. I would not. He's sitting. I wouldn't have gave her away. I <laughs> yeah, that shit, nigga. Nah. I'm going blowing, to jail for this shit. Blowing you up. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby girl. Mm-hmm. I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, for, for real. Yeah, <laughs> there's no reason you should have four kids at 18 years old. Hell no! They could have got my first one till I was 19, and yeah. I get it. I know people who had kids young, but four, but like, at 18? it was like one or two, right? You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of homies that was hoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, I had two mm-hmm. chicks pregnant at once. And it was like, oh, nigga, you fucked up. <laughs> like, nigga, I know. I know, man. Stupid ass. Life is over and shit, bro. <laughs> oh, dumb ass. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> not four. You right. Yeah. Not four, nigga. That's a lot. Not at all. Nigga's trying to keep up with NBA young boy. Mm-mm. She, she on her way. <laughs> she hey, she, she on, on her way. Ass. She halfway. <laughs> yeah. She halfway. She trying to get that fucking team. Fuck that. Anyways, man. Rhode Island lawmakers have signaled that marijuana legalization is close, man. They have closed the deal. Okay. They uh they have some key issues that they finally agreed on. They have yet to release like the full like boom. This is what the rules would be, and this is what it's gonna look like, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But they have announced that yo, it's it's about to happen. That's dope. Rhode Island, y'all are about to be legal. Hell yeah. Y'all about to join. <laughs> y'all about to join this shit, bro. <laughs> the East Coast is moving we along, like bro. bro. We love like yeah, y'all. Y'all yeah. fucking doing it. Shout out to Rhode Island. And as, as now I got rules, a reason to go there. Yeah, as the rules <laughs> actually get released and, and, you know, more information is, you know, released, we will give y'all more information. Because they were really just, they were deciding on, like, licenses and the total amount and, okay. you know, fees and... You know, all the boring shit that none of y'all give a fuck about, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're just a regular consumer, if you're a, a, a you know, a business advocate or not a big, an advocate or a business, you know, person who's trying to get involved in the industry there, you know, you care about this type of stuff. Um, and I mean, really, it just, I went, it went from like 150 licenses to like 30 or 40 being more Damn. realistic as okay. far as, you know, how many dispensary licenses they're going to issue. Mm-hmm. Um that those things always can change. And even that they, even now that they've like established like, Oh, it's going to happen. And we've agreed on key things. Like they still got to write it all down. It's still got yeah, all the verbiage has process to process to do, yeah. you know, established and shit. So things can still be altered or changed mm-hmm. or, you know, even miswritten. That's right. Uh, in this process. So, you know, th- again, we'll kind of touch more on that 
in a more broad sense when uh, you know it, it actually it happens. Happens. That's right. And they release some shit because they haven't really released a whole lot. They're just amping everybody up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. I'm amped. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, New York man, they're 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 doing big things and. They got this fucking rule, the looping rule, right? Like everybody be exploiting. Where it's like, oh, buy this. They just had that little festival thing, right? That pop up shop situation yep, yep. where it was like, oh, buy this t shirt or we'll donate gifts you an eighth, we'll give you some, yeah, weed, yeah or right. some edibles or whatever. Right. The uh, there's some people in the chair uh, of like the whole regulatory board of uh, cannabis and all that shit okay. who spoke on this whole gifting loophole uh-huh. and basically said, yo, not gonna happen here. We're not with none of that shit. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, why? Like that. She basically just said that the gifting of cannabis with the intention or marketing of another sale or purchase of something else mm-hmm. is like, it's, she's like, that's still, we're, it's illegal. Like, we're going we're gonna to crack down. We're going to define, like, yo. No closing, gifting. We're closing that no. loophole. Uh, it, loophole. It's, it's not saying you can't gift, right? Okay. If you're 21 and, uh, and hey, bro, you want some weed? That's cool. cool. I got you. But I can't be but like no, yo, no bro. other exchange of goods yeah. type thing. Right. It can't be okay. attached to another transaction. Okay. Because it's still they're looking at it like, yo, you're still making the transaction. So no what, matter how much you're actually getting from that situation, because most of the most of the time it's like you weren't buying a twenty dollar shirt for twenty dollars. Right. You're buying a twenty dollar shirt for eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Absolutely. And then from there you're getting the weed. So they're still getting some sort of compensation. They're just hiding this the sale or the transaction within another transaction. Okay. Right? That's all it is. Mm-hmm. So they're like, no. Like we can get, we get it, we caught you. Yeah. We know what you're doing. <laughs> That's nigga. What like, you tried to do. Yeah, we, got you. we ain't fucking new to this shit. Right. So they're like, nah, we ain't. We're shutting that down. So it's it's still you could I could gift it to you, right? Mm-hmm. I could just be like, here, bro. You know, if you want decide, hey, how, you want some gas money? You know, whatever. Like that's different. Like you know, Absolutely. they're not gonna nitpick about little shit like that for sure. But me blatantly going out and throwing up a pop shop and being like, buy a fucking you know a t shirt and get a fucking you know free eighth. I'll like, give you an eighth. Yeah. That's illegal. Yeah, they're like, no, we're not gonna let that shit go down. Okay. So be careful, people. You know, when you're out there trying to market, I know that you want to sell some weed really bad. You want to get your products out there. You want to get your brand that's out right. there. But you need to do it smart. Facts. Okay. Open up some dispensaries in New York thing. God damn it. Be fucking Jesus. smart. Yeah. But they, I mean, they're still trying to get all that shit worked out. Uh, no, so. that shit's fucking taking forever. Forever. Yeah. But something else that's cool uh, that's coming out of New York is they actually just approved and rechanged some rules because it uh, used to not be um, legal to grow at home. Right. In New York. That was yeah. one of their big things. They didn't want to have home grows. But because of the fact that it's taking so long to get the <laughs> process up. They've decided to change that. They're going to make it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. They're like, yo, you, you can grow at home. That's dope. Okay. So uh, they dope. have a 60-day public comment situation or whatever mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. for people in the public to comment on these on this proposal. Um, and after the whole 60 days, it should go into effect. Um and, you know, at that point, they'll finalize any sort of small details, make changes, whatever the fuck. But it will be in effect and you'll be able to grow. I think it's up to six plants. Yeah, six plants in a private residency. Um, and it basically just follows the rules of everything where it's like, you know, in-house, okay. your residence, you know, your garage or backyard, whatever. Like, as long as it's your fucking property. That's right. You know what I'm saying? How many plants? Six. Did you say? Six? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's something. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, for both just regular users who want to use it, medical marijuana users actually, and caregivers. So your recreational people are still, you still aren't quite included in yeah, right. perfectly <laughs> wise. So, so be careful yep. if you're not medically, uh, you know, carded. Mm-hmm. Like, get, you know, if you want to grow at home, get your medical card or become a caregiver. There you go. Don't have no issues. Because they didn't, you know, be got to be really specific with the, the verbiage and how oh, you're yeah. interpreting verbiage sometimes because that shit'll you, can't, fuck you, up, bro. you can't fill in blanks. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make up words and shit and, and you know, tr- create a whole different context around what the, it actually physically says because that could be the difference of you getting off of some shit or you getting into some trouble. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's the, that's the mm-hmm. reality. Mm-hmm. So you got to be careful with how you read some shit. And it says... Uh, medical marijuana users and their caregivers can grow their own supply at home. There you go. That's very specific. Yes. It does not say anything about le- like uh, recreational can. or yeah, just yep. legally being able to grow at home. Yeah. So understand that. Okay. Do you remember trying to get in trouble. You remember when Colorado first went med and being a caregiver was like the biggest thing. Yeah, everybody. Right? Was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's because that was back when you could technically Hell, grow at home and yeah. then grow and sell it to the dispensaries yep, direct. Facts. Yep, exactly. People was making bread, bro. That shit was crazy. When the pounds was nice. Oh yeah, nicely priced. <laughs> oh yeah, nicely priced. But uh, yeah, man. Fucking moving on. We got Luxembourg 
as the first Europe uh, country or place in Europe to legalize, I think it's a whole country, right? Uh, I think so. Luxembourg. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty well, sure. I don't know all of fucking Europe. Me either. But I think, it, I think Luxembourg heard of it, is like an actual... Its own country, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Maybe. Who knows? Correct me if I'm fucking wrong. I don't yeah. know. Europe's a fucking big place. <laughs> a lot of places in Europe. I don't know. But anyways, they have permitted... Uh, the, the you can grow up to four plants in your homes or your gardens, um, you know, your terraces, your fucking hey. balconies, whatever. As long again, this is your shit. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and you could be 18 and up. Oh, actually, no shit. there as well. Um, and it's all this is all legalized. So okay. Like you don't need no cards or none of that shit. You just need to be legally 18 or up. That's being a fucking adult. There That's we it. go. And you're good to go. Simple. Yeah. And yeah. the cool thing is they're not, they don't have any sort of uh Dispensaries or anything like that, so they're obviously not. You're not able to go oh. purchase it, right? So you so. just got to supply yourself. That's yeah. It. There you and, go. But they are allowing you to import and export seeds, which is cool. So it's like if you needed to, you know, if you want to start growing, you're not going to get in trouble for obtaining the the things that you need. Okay. To grow, so you'll probably start seeing those in stores and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, because they're going to let seeds yep. be something that you can sell. I'm um, sure at stores. I'm sure they'll have some sort of like little. Mm-hmm. Stores that will just cater to that. Somebody's gonna, you know, get privy for sure. Um, and then from there, uh, you could buy it online and all that good shit, and you won't get in trouble for that's fire, bro. So, so yeah, go. that's cool. You I know like what I'm that. saying? It allows them to get genetics that they may want from other places mm-hmm. and all that shit. Um, and you know, be able to do it their themselves and learn a lot. But also, the cool thing with under this whole new legalization situation, they're softening some of the fines and you know laws and stuff. So the fines could be reduced to as little as 25 euro for possession of under three grams, mm-hmm. which is down from the 250 to 2,500 euros, Damn. which is you know what you could get today for above uh, or, or for the three grams. Um, and then above three grams, nothing changes. You'll still be considered a dealer. <laughs> and that's just that. There's a zero okay. tolerance rule for driving um, and smoking and all that shit or using. So don't do that. Damn. Um, so, yeah, you know, they're still cracking down on certain aspects of it. But can't even have a full eighth. Yeah. <laughs> not on your person. <laughs> yeah. So that's you got to, again, this is like you guys need to understand your your rules and regulations and laws when you're in the actual public and mm-hmm. you're in these places because just because it's legal and you can grow and you have your own products and supply yourself doesn't mean that you can be out smoking a whole bunch of fucking weed on you yeah. and all that shit um, in certain places. Like, you know, here you can have two ounces on you mm-hmm. unless you, you know, have a card that notes otherwise. Uh, most places it's, you know, around that one to two ounce limit. Some places it's three. Um, but, it, you know, no more than that pretty much. After that, you're pretty much playing with fire. Um, oh yeah, yeah, for you know, sure. And then yeah. even even with some of like the one to three ounce, you know, situations, let you get caught with in un- uh, un- unfavoring circumstances mm-hmm. where you have a scale or some little baggies or something that will misconstrue the situation and look like you are trying to sell or you have a, a you know an ill intent. You're gonna have they're gonna problems. shut you down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you're gonna have issues. So just know how to move and what you should be doing when you're moving in these different places when you're going to visit there you go. Um, or living there. Right, because that shit's important. So yeah, all your cultivation and your consumption, everything has to be within the four walls of your fucking place mm-hmm. that you mm-hmm. reside, own, whatever. Like it needs to be something you currently pay for. There you go. Period. Keep your weed at home <laughs> and smoke it at Luxembourg. Home. Or whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, moving on. We have a fucking. Uh, a little update. I thought I just thought it was interesting. So out in Michigan, uh, is it Michigan? I think it was Michigan. Let me make sure before I fucking fuck up. <laughs> Pretty sure it was Michigan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Michigan. So out in Michigan, they have they dropped a little you know knowledge bomb to just kind of give everybody an update on who has the most dispensaries and in, in Michigan, like city wise. Okay. So Ann Arbor actually won. With 24 dispensaries that it, you know, supplies up to uh, 120,000 residents. Nice. Uh, and then Bay City was right behind it with 22, which with only has 33,000 residents. So that's super cool. Because mm-hmm. I mean, that means y'all got a lot of motherfucking options. Bro, hell yeah. And not a lot of motherfucking people trying <laughs> yeah. to buy it up. So y'all, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of everything. Yeah, hell yeah. You never got to worry about Selection. supply issues that's and shit. Right. But uh, yeah, so those are the top two. And then they released the... Uh, uh, you know, the le- other 21 
fucking cities or whatever. Mm -hmm. And basically it just ranged from 20 all the way down to five. And I just thought that was interesting. Like, you know, that just shows like the progression of the state. Absolutely. Cities. And, you know, it shows you who's embracing it more than others. And, Mm -hmm. you know, the more friendly states to be or cities to be in within that state. Uh, This was Michigan, you said, right? Yeah, out in Michigan. Okay. Yep. So, you know, just if y'all want to read that, y'all could look it up. It was kind of cool. You could just look up literally the uh, Michigan cannabis retailers or most cannabis retailers in Michigan. Where does Detroit fall on that list? Uh, Detroit. Let's see. You'd think they'd be number one. Nah. Yeah. They're not even, uh, it don't even say to have Detroit on here. Really? Yeah, it's got Flint at eight. Flint's got eight. And uh, Ann Arbor was number one? Ann Arbor, okay. 24. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't think Detroit has any. Because <laughs> they're that's not on this crazy. list at all with any <laughs> shit. So maybe that's that might maybe that's one of Detroit's things is like they didn't have any permitted in the city limit. Right, right, like, right, right. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Maybe it was all right outside of it. But yeah, I mean, because it has damn near everything else: Grand Rapids, Big mm-hmm. Rapids, uh, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, fucking Jackson. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Uh, man. Marquette, fucking. I mean, every Coldwater, Hazel Park. I mean, everybody's on here, bro. Mm. <laughs> like everybody but Detroit, <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, yeah, take that for what it there is. It is. I'm gonna have to look that up because I wonder. I, I, I'm not yeah, 100%. See, I've, not, I've never been to Detroit for any sort of like cannabis stuff. Um, I want to go to Michigan for some cannabis, shit, and, and everyone I that I know that has cannabis businesses. Now that I think about it, they're not. None of them are in Detroit directly. They're, see, may, may, they're like, not. Per, they're one not. of my homies, or not, I can't necessarily call him homie. But one of the people that I know out there. Um, shout out to the. Uh, He's a homie, fucking everybody homies. You know what I'm saying? There we go. (laughs) But uh, it's the Kush is my cologne brand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He has like a smoking lounge and I think a dispensary out there. But I think his shit's in. It might. I might. I could be completely wrong, but I believe it was Flint. Um, But I know it's it's yeah it's out in Michigan. It's something out there, and he yeah. Hell yeah, pretty sure. You got to tap in with Michigan, bro. Yeah, we have to see what's going on. Yeah. Anyways, Columbia man was charged with smuggling weed from California. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Another one. Another one. <laughs> and another one goes. And another one goes. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> Kevin Antoine Simmons, 43 years old, was trafficking marijuana from motherfucking California. He got caught, and or got pinned, mm-hmm. actually. He got dinged. In leaving California, they at, caught him and they at figured the border. Out, they knew he uh, he was leaving. Uh, I think the Sacramento airport. Okay, going through it, they you know his bags got scanned. Yeah, and you know they were like, yeah, oh, that was on the plane. With some this in shit. this shit. Ooh, uh, and actually, I think it was it was fucking under. He did check in. No shit. Yeah, but they've started getting real. You know, fucking privy and the you know technology. Yeah. Oh changed. yeah, it's pretty easy to spot now. They you know they trying they trying to find the big traffickers. Facts. They don't care about your ounce. Okay. <laughs> like, All y'all who think you're, you know, doing something when you're taking a couple edibles or a fucking care. vape or, you know, a couple grams of fucking Ooh, flour. You're living on the edge. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> the niggas that they're looking for is this guy. Yeah. 40 pounds in suitcase. Damn, bro. With 4,000 in cash, which that's probably what honestly, you know. The cash. The cash because is probably. They, yeah, because they have that that scanner that, uh-huh. yep, yep, that finds the cash and shit. That's right. Mm-hmm. 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 So, and then the back probably just looked weird in the scan too, with just bag, just cash and a bunch of weird like bag. That's thing. right. Like, is the plastic's still going to show up. It's just, you know, you're not going to see necessarily what's in the plastics for sure. Weeds organic, but. Yeah, so, you know, he got dinged. All the fucking Sacramento people did. They let his ass get on the plane, sent the bags on and everything, and then <laughs> yeah. called fucking uh, the South Carolina, South Carolina-based Drug Enforcement Administration and was just like, yo. He was waiting for him. Here's the passenger's number, blah, blah. Here's his name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, he got two bags, about 40 pounds. God cash damn. in that bitch. How, how much cash? You four, said four, four grand. Four grand? He should have kept yeah. that on him. He would have been all right. He might have been all right. Yeah. <laughs> real shit. I, I, I real shit. Like, yep. my, the first thing I saw was the fact that there was money in the bag. Like, and it was under 10 grand. I would have had that in my pocket all day. Oh, absolutely, bro. Facts. All day. Yes. He should have. He fucked nothing. up, bro. You don't got to report that shit. Nope. That's under 10 grand. Nope. You can walk through the airport with that. That's, That's nothing. That's right. Motherfucking rappers do that shit all the time. Absolutely. You know, low-level rappers. Come on, nigga. Regular people do that shit all the time. Yeah. Traveling. Four bands. <laughs> Four bands ain't shit. <laughs> Fucking. It's no you know shit. Should have kept that on you, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, they, you know, let him get his bags once he got there. and they Thought he was scot-free. Boom. They grabbed him once he he put possession of the bags in his hands. Like mm. had, he walk, had he been paying attention to his surroundings and just and let not the, grab the bags? Wow. Oh, see, that would have been slick, bro. 
Nigga, I didn't touch those bags. <laughs> Somebody switched them bags, That's bro. Right. Like, I don't know what put, what what happened with those bags once they got under the plane, bro. Facts. I checked them bitches That's in. I don't mine. know. Yep. And something seemed weird, so I didn't want them. And I saw y'all and shit, so some, I knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Been reasonable slick, doubt, bro. nigga. Reasonable yep. doubt. Slick. <laughs> but anyways, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I just thought it was an interesting story. It was just funny, like, dog, nigga, y'all motherfuckers still out here doing this? Yeah, like on the plane too, bro. Get some legal like, hustles, bro. <laughs> I know it's enticing, but goddamn, get some legal hustles. <laughs> anyways, man, I love y'all. That's the end of today's show, man. It's Friday, episode forty nine. We are going to be back on Monday for episode fifty. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then we're going to take like a week off or so and get everything right and tight, and you know. Think you know, work some things out. That's right. Some things worked out for you. <laughs> I love y'all. Shout out to Eric, the content yes, creation sir. studio. You, bro. Everybody who's involved in this bitch, you know, Josh, JD, Jessica, everybody. I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, without y'all, there is no me. I- so gang, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Shout out to Coco Ganja Plus. Make sure y'all go follow her, all her platforms, her uh, main accounts, backup accounts, all of the accounts. Just go follow her. Shout out to my dog, Turner One Take. Uh, you know, go follow him, run his streams up as well. Turner One Take, all one word. If you put a space, you ain't gonna find my dog. You know what I'm saying? So Turner mm-hmm. One Take, all one word. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, just go follow me. Go follow the Turt Bears. Could hit me up if you want the Turt merch. Shout out to motherfucking Nug Jewels, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there who just supports and shows love to me, the channel, the, 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 the everything that we do bro you guys included y'all are the most important ones because without y'all this shit is nothing and you know it's dead in the water so we appreciate everybody who's rocking with us paying attention and doing what they do and uh yeah we'll catch y'all tomorrow or no not tomorrow y'all have a good fucking weekend we'll catch y'all on monday and live your life high because honestly genuine humble is the best way to live and we'll catch y'all later peace be confident gang shit